Hey guys, Casual Collector back again today. Today I'm just doing a video for the cigar lovers. Now I must say that if you are not into looking at humidors and the collections and the walkthroughs of humidors, this is not your video because it's exactly what I'm doing. My cigar stash has grown this uh, summer and I want to show everybody um, who like these videos. Now if you're going to get bored by this because it's going to be fairly a long video, go ahead and skip off. Um... But those who are staying, welcome. Um, I must clarify, again, I'm not an expert. I am a casual collector. Um, I just do this for fun. I've just gotten into it the past um, year. So bear with me. Um, I don't have the biggest collection, just two 40, 50 count cigar box humidors. And that's it. And uh, I have a box of singles, which we're going to go through. And I'm going to show you every single one. I know. But I love this stuff. So I thought maybe there's somebody else out there who likes it too. Now, if you see one that you've had that you like, didn't like, I pronounced it wrong, you want to say something about it, please do put in the comments. Um, again, I'm not an expert though, so I don't know everything, so if I mispronounce a name, forgive me. Um, so yeah, the first box we're going to go through is the one you, I already made a video, and then you saw this, it's an older video, for me at least, and it is this like mahogany looking wood, the glass top, that one which I don't use obviously. I love it. It's very beautiful. The glass on top makes it just a little more, a little more fancy. This is where all my singles are kept. And let's start going through them. Now these, uh, how I got this and this other humor, which you'll see later, was for through Cigars International. Um, I'm not affiliated with them. I just checked them out, and I liked some of the deals they were doing that day in particular. So I was like, hey, let's do it. Let's grow my collection, and then I can just let some. I don't have to worry about it because I was kind of worried about. It. I didn't have a lot. So I didn't want to smoke a lot because I was like, you know, I, I want to save some of these. So this allows me to do that. So I got samplers mainly um, and these samplers, which are in here. And some of you have already seen if you've seen my other videos. But without further ado, let's begin. So this one came from the sampler. It was, uh, I'm going to try to burn through these. But just let you see, this is a Gran Habano Aztec Fuerte. Gran Habano, beautiful band. A little cedar there with the foot, fuerte. Oops, upside down for you, fuerte. Okay. All right, and uh, that came in a pack, very soft. This is random again. These are all just all my singles. I don't, I barely had time to look at these since they came in. Cao MX2. Now I've heard this one's strong. That's what I've heard. The Cao MX2, very dark Maduro wrapper. have the CAO Brasilia and the CAO Italia. Both. I'm excited about these because I've only heard good things about uh, CAO Brasilia and everything. It's a classic. Um, nice pack on it. A little firm at the end there, but uh, really excited about both of these. I think I'm going to let them sit a little bit and then just try them out. I have the Gran Habana Vintage 2002. This is a beautiful, beautiful cigar. This one's just like cedar. I'm sure it's more from the box. I have the Obsidian. And the Obsidian, I forgot what this was called. It's the white version. Obviously, this is, looks like a Maduro wrapper on the original Obsidian. And this is the white version. Maybe a Connecticut. Doesn't look that light, though. Sorry about that. We have Gran Habano, Habano 3 and the 3 SLS. Gran Habano does some great um, bands. Very beautiful. These are some nice cigars. I'm really excited. And these uh, packs, up, the sampler packs, are exactly what I wanted. Just a huge sample, just tons of them I've heard of, seen before, and that's why I love doing these videos too. Cao Black, huge cedar wrapper on that. Nice dark. Um, mm, wow, that is strong. Cao. 
see here. Let's do some five Vegas. I got a lot of those. I have the five. Well, everybody's heard of this one. Five Vegas Gold. Five Vegas Gold looks like a torpedo. Five Vegas Gold. And to go with that, I got the Five Vegas Gold Maduro. Sorry about that. A little phone inch. And then I have the Five Vegas. I, look, I tried to look this one up and I couldn't find it. It's the Five Vegas Classic High Primings. I looked it up on Cigar International. I haven't ended, I haven't looked that hard because I just got this in. But never heard of that before. High Primings. And I couldn't find any quick information on it. I'm sure it's out there. Uh, Gran Habano, Connecticut, number one. This glare, curse this glare. I wanted to make sure you see the band and everything. My first Rocky Patel, Rocky Patel Fusion. Rocky Patel Fusion. Now, have you heard you've if you're in the Scar community, you've heard of Rocky Patel, obviously. Here's one I've never heard of: Raymond Busso. Ramon Busso is how I'd say it. Odyssey. Now, of all the samplers, this is the most damage I've had out of any of them. There's that little tag or height on the other side right there. You see it? And a little bit of rip. So the samplers came in great shape. They were a little dry. Now that I've got them uh, in my humidor, they're loosening up a little bit. I have it like at 70, so it's a little higher than normal. But I want them to loosen up a little bit. Here's another one I've never heard of. The Bahia Icon. Big ring gauge, comparatively. Not much longer. Never heard of this. Amadi? Just Amadi, that's it. And when I um, looked on Cigars International, there was not much information on it. So Amadi. Five Vegas Classic. Oops, five. Just a classic torpedo. It's got a very tall. I don't even know what you call this. But I'm going to have to snip it pretty far down to get a nice drop. Um, not much on this either. It's probably just a really cheap one. Um, Grand Pearl. Very beautiful woman on it, but uh, didn't find much information. Probably just a cheapo they threw in there. Here are all my Carlos Toranos. My friend, this is my friend's, I'm holding it for him. He doesn't have a humidor. It's a box pressed um, Exodus 1959-50 years. Wonderful cigar. Um, if super chocolatey, super good. I highly suggest this. It got highly rated. Um, Carlos Toronto, Exodus 50 years. Beautiful. Dark chocolate wrapper. My friend loves it. Now these two are mine. This is the Vault, which I picked up at a local shop. Not from Cigars International. And uh, this one came for Scars International. A little tiny boy. A little tiny bud. Uh, Carlos Toronto Virtuoso. It's a little tiny guy. Virtuoso. Dark wrapper. I can almost smell it through the wrapper, actually. That's pungent. All right. Um... PDR or Pinar del Rio, small batch exclusive. Small batch exclusive. I also have the PDR small batch reserve, which I don't know what's the difference between exclusive and reserve. Either way, I have both of them. Um, all right, here's the other CAO. Now this one is darker, and this may be the black. I was having a hard time finding out. Because the black I looked had the um, the cedar uh, cover on it, and this one doesn't, but it has that weird bottom band. So if you know what this one is, or the other CAO, I didn't know the name. You help me out there. Arganese, beautiful band. These are kind of cheapos. Five Vegas A. Nice cheap. There, it's a beautiful one. Mark Twain, 
It's huge, long, ridiculous. I'm another cheapo, but Mark Twain's pretty cool. I like Mark Twain and his excuse me, fly there, his uh, sayings and stuff, so that's cool. Finally, out of the... This one I'm actually kind of very excited about. The Five Vegas Cast Strength. Looks like a box press. Um, batch number 96. It's aged six years. Deep flavors and refined. Cask Strength. Super excited about this Five Vegas. Never had a Five Vegas before. Now those were all, except that one, were from my samplers. And this is just for people who haven't seen my videos before. If you have, you've already seen these before. Two OS OSOKs. Still in their paper. Still smell amazing. Super seed right now. Because they don't have any cellophane on them. It's just these. Paper. My Uzi weighs a ton by Drew Estate. I got the big one. 6x60 six here. Huge. This will take a long time to burn through, but it is beautiful. Uzi weighs a ton. Just a cheap little punch one I, somebody gave me. After dinner punch. Churchill style there. Nice wrapper on it though. And finally, the last one in this box. Um, West India Trading Company, which is an offshoot of Gurkha. Um, Double Fuerte. Big, big cigar. Didn't make my other box. Alright. So most of these, 95% of those were from samplers. And samplers, which I had to go on, were about 40 bucks each. Some were cheaper, and I'll explain here in a second why some were cheaper. Sorry about that. All right, now, for this is really cool. This is the second humidor I have purchased. Cigars International has an amazing seat. Um, if you Google Cigar International coupon codes or something, eventually, and I might put a link down, actually, now I think about it, but I found this coupon code that you type into Cigars International, and what you get for 20 bucks, I believe that doesn't include shipping, but 20 bucks you get this humidor. 40 count. Solid humidor. It is uh, made in China, but still. 20 bucks, and you get, I believe it's a sampler of 10. This plus 10 cigars, 20 bucks. That's an amazing deal. I don't care who you are. I don't remember. I should have wrote down what, the, what was in the sampler, but you can easily find out, and I may put a link if I remember. So this is my second humidor. It is made of um, basswood, I believe. And the Spanish cedar inside. And it has, this will be a lot quicker because it has all my doubles and my Gurkha collection. The first one I want to show you is the Ave Maria Morning Star Temple Heart, I believe is the size. Look at those pans. Sorry if you hear mowing outside. Beautiful bands. Beautiful. Now this is the only problem I came across. They did come in a box. Excuse me. Beautiful box. An engraved night over here. Huge sticker of a Maria. Just beautiful. Morning Star. 5 by 58s I think it's Latin. It is Latin. Made in Nicaragua. There's the date. This was made on 26. Twenty six eight fifteen, Which hasn't happened yet. I don't know what that is then. You know what that is. 26 8, 15. Oh, 03? 26, 8, Is that when it's goodbye? <laughs> I have no clue. But that's there. So tell me what that is if you know. I don't have fingernails. Pardon me. 
open the box up. Beautiful box, huge shield here. There's the cedar. It smells amazing. I love woodwork. I love boxes, cigar boxes. So this is amazing. The problem was that a few of that. Let me see if I can find one or two. Yeah. Two or three of these did have some damage to the top. And I did get these on sale. And I understand they may have been sitting on these for a while. But, I mean, as far as the mini scars that I ordered on that, um, or just a few of these, and see this one's in perfect condition. A few of these morning stars be slightly damaged at the top. I can understand. Um, none of the other scars had any damage. I'm sure if, scar if I contacted I know if I contacted Scars and National about it, they would uh, contact me immediately and give me a new box or something. But it's not a big deal. It's not worth the hassle. Um, I got a great deal, and I'm okay with that. So I got uh, 10 of these. Get them all out of my which I don't know why. Let's see. Let's get some of the Gurkhas here. And the rest of the box is basically my Gurkha selection. Um, Gurkha Seduction. Huge stick here. Beautiful pen. I love Gurkha. I'm a Gurkha fan. I either love or hate Gurkha. Either way, they make some pretty cool cigars. So, I'm a Gurkha fan. If you're not, that's cool. Um, but it has a very, um, like, leathery, toothy band to it. Very cool. This one came in the uh, one I've never had before. The Gurkha War Pig. I've heard good, good things about it. War Pig. Gurkha. Beautiful black, white, silver band. Red on there. Gurkha Royal Challenge. I'm this for a friend. Not part of mine, but he bought this and he loved it. This is uh, the Churchill Royal Challenge. Beautiful band. I believe this is the Special Reserve. There's also a Grand Reserve. And of course they don't label it. It's in the tube with the gold wax. I don't remember what this one is. I think it's Special Reserve. It's supposed to taste like cognac, maybe? Or is that the other one? Oh, listen to me. Gurkha Ghost, which comes in this tube. This is the uh, angel size. Tube, torpedo kind of thing. I smell it, but it smells like cedar, and I love that smell. Now, of all the cigars I smoke, which is not that many, but I have found a favorite so far. And it's these, and you've heard about it before. Don Diego Fuertes. Um, Bellicoso. Made in Nicaragua. These are so smooth and creamy. If you haven't tried a Don Diego Fuerte, I highly suggest it. Um, very delicious. Great smoke. They're just my favorite right now. And you know how that goes. The other one I have in here is the Pino de Rio Oscuro Liga Cubana number two. I just loved how this looked, and I needed a little more room in the other one, so I said, this one's coming with me. It's got a nice dark Maduro wrapper on it. Cool. And the other ten that are left in there are the other box I got. Now, they came in two bundles of five, I believe, or six. A five <laughs> um, is the Gurkha Vintage 2001. I love, I, when I saw this online, I just loved everything. But I love the band. I love the size. I love the thickness. I love the color. Now, what else could you ask for? And I hope it tastes awesome. I've got some pretty okay reviews, and I'm hoping it just rocks the world. And so that is my entire um, cigar collection. I know this was kind of a longer video, and I know it wasn't the most entertaining, but I hope if you like looking at cigars, you saw something cool, you saw something you've had, you saw something you want to try. That was the point. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, leave comments of anything you want in the uh, about these cigars or anything cigar-related in the comments below. Thanks for watching.